All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Aljamain Sterling. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31 with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the USC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, Al Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? It's another one. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Plants and right hand lands upstairs. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big power shots landing. These guys throwing early. I 
legs clenched. Let's see what he can do with it. Unable to connect there. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Right hand punch in the clinch. Sides with conviction. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh! Huge kick to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He is all about that left kick to the body. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Well, shades of Cormier against Dan Henderson back in the day just slammed his opponent to the ground. I mean, just slammed him, lifted him up, and almost treated him like a baby. If you can pick a guy up off his feet, it's so discouraging for men that are used to being the alphas in all situations. All right, has the guard closed here? Sterling's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but Sterling, oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Sterling. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That knee, that knee hurt him. Opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Sterling's going for a choke here. Switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 15 seconds to go. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets ended. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh, 
staying active in pursuit of the submission, now going for a leg. Posturing up now, and he's out. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, rubber guard now, DC. Some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go-go plaza, homo plaza. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so fast that you should pass. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omoplatas in UFC history. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. But he's... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Right, <laughs> oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Wow. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good strike. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. Sterling's got the full mount. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Sterling gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And he landed the right hand there. Man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he used the Kimura. Nicely done. Gates up to his feet. Barely there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Sterling gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Kick there blocked by Stone. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. There's no tell on that leg kick. from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Ready. 
Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his chin into his opponent. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. Going for an arm here. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No one to hold, no one no to hold. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bobby. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. All right, close guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh! He over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, nice job working hard, posting. And getting oh! Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, any time you're in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beat. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.
Fight DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rim. Just an incredible result for him. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He's found 